Okay, let's test the diodes, or the diode pack on this alternator. This is the one that's whining. Let's take a look and see if the diodes being bad might be part of the issue. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our multimeter, get your leads in calm, and on the uh, volt, you know, resistance, milliamps, diodes, bat setting. That's where you put your leads. We're actually gonna turn this down here to the diode portion right there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually test this two different ways. If we take our red lead and put it onto the actual casing of the alternator, and then take our black lead and put it onto the positive terminal or stud on the back, we should get a reading somewhere from five to eight on this one, or 500 to 800 on other ones, depending on what your scale is on your multimeter. So right now it's just showing a one or open because we don't have it on anything. So let me connect or touch the positive lead to the casing. And then we're gonna put the negative on the stud. And we're getting no reading at all, not a thing. So now I'll turn it around the other way. I'm gonna put the positive onto the star on the back and the negative on the casing. I'm getting a reading of about 10, which is backwards from what we want. We don't want to see current flowing from that positive through the alternator up into the casing and giving us a current. We don't want that. Let me turn it back around again. Now we're getting a very small reading running the opposite direction. So we're not getting anywhere to the intended values on this alternator. Which leads me to believe that the diodes are probably bad in it, even though this is a fairly new alternator. I just got it the other day. We have nothing reading correctly here. So I'm gonna take it back to O'Reilly. I've got a lifetime warranty on it and we're gonna swap it. And hopefully that fixes the issue with the wine on my truck. I don't know, we'll see. But that was a quick video for you guys on how to check your diodes on your alternator. Um, you can do this on the vehicle too, as long as you unplug it and separate it from the rest of the electrical system. Um, I've actually had it taken off because I pretty well knew that I was going to go take this in. But yeah, do that test. And again, you're looking for 500 when you do positive on the casing, negative on the terminal. And when you flip it around, negative on the casing, positive on the terminal, you want nothing because you don't want that electricity to be flowing back into the alternator. That can give you parasitic drain and all kinds of other issues on your vehicle. Anyways, hope this helped. See you guys next time.